Constellio 7.5 demo. So this is the introduction of the software. First of all, you have to uh, log in. When I am logged as an administrator, I'm able to view all the available modules in Constellio on the left. Uh, and on the top, uh, you have the, the search engine. So the search engine is the enterprise search. Uh, basically, you can search all the documents inside Constellio, but you can also connect Constellio to different systems like file shares, SharePoint, uh, Microsoft Exchange, and so on. On the right, you will have uh, here the advanced search. Uh, so can, you can search by metadata and you can also specify specific systems. For example, if you want to search the file share, if you want to search websites and, and so on. And you have the metadata that you can select for the search and you have the Boolean queries. On the right, you will have quick access in order to be able to create folders, create documents, add in documents and so on. You also have the multi-tenancy options, which means that you can have multiple collections in Constellio and each collection will have its own content. You also have here a selected document, so which means that if you select some specific documents, you can make actions on those documents. You have here the user profile, so you can edit the profile, you can add the photo of the person, uh, photo of your profile, and you can dec decide what is the best way to navigate in the system. So for example, in this case, I can decide to navigate using taxonomies. And when I open taxonomies, the first taxonomy that I will see by default is the file plan. And when I will open the folder, I will view the content of, of, of the folder instead of viewing the metadata. So I'm, in uh, I'm at the home page, uh, taxonomies, file plan, so I'm able to view my file plan and the, to view the folders that are in the file plan. But the same folders could be viewed using department taxonomy. So I can navigate by department and also view the same folders with different hierarchy. And I can also create other taxonomies and decide to link some folders to those taxonomies. Finally, you have the file share. So it is possible to link the file share to Constellio in order, order first to be able to search the file share, but also to be able to view the content on the file share and also to migrate the content of the file share from the file share to Constellio. You have here the folder activity. So uh, the latest folder that you have accessed is the latest folder available. Document activity, the same thing. So latest document that you have accessed is the latest document available and the checkout documents. So when you check out documents, for example, for anything, you will view those documents here. In order to be able to create folders, add in documents, uh, you have to prepare Constellio uh, by adding some specific information. So we have three main things to do before being able to um, create, create folders, add in documents, and so on. So the first thing that you have to do when you start an empty Constellio is to create the department hierarchy. So basically here you have, I have uh, already a department created, but I have to create a new department in order to be able to work with the system. So this is the first step that you have to do, add a department. So you have to enter the code, the title, and save this information. When you create the department, the next step that you have to do is to build the file plan. So here is the file plan. So I have some specific categories of the file plan that I have created, but I can create others. So let's say demo. So I, I'm at the first level. So I will save it. So I create a new category in the file plan. Then I have to create a sub level. So I am at the demo level. I will create, uh, I'm, I'm creating the, the, the hierarchy now. So demo level, level two. So I will go inside the demo level two. So if you see the hierarchy here, demo, demo level 2, and then I can add the third level, 
demo level 3 demo level 3 and then I can save so I create three levels in this hierarchy demo demo 2 and demo 3 then you can link at that time the retention rule so constellio is a document management but the document management is linked to the uh, record management module so basically each folder that you will create a retention rule will automatically be applied uh, to this folder and to those documents so you can link a retention rule here but at that time in my case I have some some examples uh, but if we do it from the beginning you will create the retention the, the file plan then you will go and then create a retention rule okay so I will create the retention rule here so add a new retention rule rule demo approved because sometimes some organization work with national archives and have to approve their retention rules by the national archives um, so you have to do the steps so rule demo then you have some specific fields that you can fill in my case I will link it to um, a specific department which is the human resources so I link this retention rule uh, to the to the department who will responsible for the, 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 the those folders then I can link the file plan that I have created so for in my case I create a new uh, categories in the file plan so I will use the, the third level and I will link the retention rule to the third level then I have the life cycle active semi-active and inactive so what I will do is I will electronic documents uh, you can change the, the the names if needed same thing so for the principal copy and the secondary copy so for the active stage I will choose if I don't choose any date here the system will use the opening date for the calculation else I can choose specific uh, specific dates for the calculation and then I can say okay you can keep the folders and the documents two years in the active stage then three years in the inactive and in the semi-active and then you can dispose the destruction and for the secondary copy if we work with the physical document so you can say I will keep it one year active two years semi-active and then this position then you can save the rule okay so in my case now you are ready to work with Constellio because we have configured the system so we create the department then we create the file plan then we create the retention rule and we linked the retention rule to the file plan So now that we have uh, configured the Constellio by creating the departments, creating the file plan, creating the retention rules and linking the retention rules to the file plan, we can now start by, uh, we can create folders and documents. So we can create folders from here, create documents, add in documents and so on. Um, but I will do this one in the next video and I will explain how to create folders, how to create documents, how to manage versions uh, and how to manage duplicate, near duplicate and so on. Thanks for watching.